Fermentation has been around for hundreds of years. It uses microorganisms and uh, readily available ingredients like wheat, soy, or milk to make the foods we all like, like cheese, bread, and beer. We invented a proprietary fermentation process that allows us to take simple ingredients like soy and turn them into meat-like products. Real solution is to actually provide the same high quality protein and the same high quality tasty products, in our case, dairy products. Instead of using animals, we are using a technology called precision fermentation. Basically what we are doing is creating the exact same product with all the upsides but without all the negative sides. What we do is to actually use a, a yeast, which is a well-known uh, organism uh, currently used uh, to produce many foods that we know and love, such as beer, bread and wine. But instead of making these products, we are able to train this yeast to make dairy proteins which are identical to the milk proteins. And this is a very uh, important step, uh, I would say a crucial step, to make this identical dairy product as we are doing today. Intensive animal agriculture presents numerous challenges for the planet and the global food system. It is responsible for almost 15% of global greenhouse gas emission. It is one of the biggest users of freshwater resources and its biggest pollutant. It is using 75% of agricultural land and it is the number one cause for deforestation. Alternative proteins offer a way to feed this growing demand in a more sustainable, efficient and safe way both for the people and the planet. With this technology, we're creating whole muscle cut alternatives like steaks and roasts at a fraction of the cost, a fraction of the environmental footprint with the same texture, flavor, and price point. Our vision is to create a new food industry that's kinder for the environment and for human health, giving people the option to control their future by choosing what they want to eat. Alternative proteins have become one of the Israeli leading technological assets for the fight for climate, biodiversity, and food security goals. Israel today is positioned just second after the U.S. in global investments in the field. Almost 40% of all investments in the field are coming to Israeli fermentation startups. 